Hey guys, welcome back to the Your Xcode 4 tutorial series where we're going to be going through some of the basics as well as some of the more advanced functionality. So ultimately, so you guys can sell applications and provide a sweet atmosphere for these apps. Because your idea is probably a lot better than mine. My idea is uh, not so much. So anyways, what we're going to do is be going through some of the toolbar elements as far as a mechanism to show robust applications, different elements coming in from left, right, all that sudden stuff. Hold on a second. Okay, uh, well, it looks like my girlfriend wants to go running right now. I'm gonna have to put a pause on that because I'm in the middle of a tutorial. Anyways, I'm gonna have to introduce my girlfriend to you someday. She's got a blog, she's got all this sweet stuff going on. A really awesome girl. Anyways, beside the point, back to our toolbar topic here. Basically, we're looking at a toolbar that you can use. And you may have seen this in like the iPhone application. I'm going to go, go ahead and drag it from our objects over here onto the view controller that we're going to show. But you may have seen it from like the Safari application where you've got your basic navigation at the bottom. You can go back, forward. I think you can just like send it to a friend or something like that. Um, and that's what the basic toolbar is with several bar button items in integrated within the toolbar and so as you see we've got the toolbar on screen now it looks you know kinda of plain Jane and that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that up we're gonna add some bar button items and we're gonna make it look a little bit better as far as the presentability for application so the first things first after you drag the toolbar on the screen you've got um, the basics here. So you can see we've highlighted the toolbar. We can go ahead and we can give it a tint. So let's say we put it maybe a grayish color. We kind of fade it in the background, nice gray off tone, similar to like the Apple, you know, scheme of colors. So it helps there as far as the presentability. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click the item that already comes default on the toolbar. And the first thing that you notice is that we've got a style. We've got different styles where we can go like plain or we can go blur bordered um, we can go to I don't know what done does okay I'm not sure what that one does I apologize but anyways you see your basic plain versus bordered and then the next element that you see is like an identifier and right now we've got a custom identifier which is basically pulling the title so if we were to change the title here to T ocket or ticket um, it's gonna simply write ticket in there and it's gonna pull from the identifier as a custom from your simple title that you've placed here. Um, the other thing that we can do with the identifier is we can add certain elements to it. And you guys have all seen these if you've worked within the iPhone user interface. And when we change the identifier, you'll see that it has some custom built things. So right now we've got uh, our simple item as a compose. So that would give the user the identity of, okay, if I click this, it's going to create a new message. And so on and so forth. So the same thing being with the identifier is they've got a, a lot of preset options for you guys to choose from. Whether it's stop like the X or we go up and we do the custom where we can put a title in there or even an image so there's a lot of flexibility within the identifiers and just so you guys know so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna throw in like an add um, button and then what we're gonna do is add a new bar button items so then we can show you guys a few different options that are going on so go ahead and drag a bar button item onto our toolbar and you can not only put these into the toolbar but you can also put them into a UI navigational item object so just keep that in mind with the bar button items anyways to move forward click the bar button item that you just in your interjected and we'll put a trash icon we're gonna throw another bar button item and for the sake of time we're just gonna put like a refresh and finally what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a new bar button item and instead of a custom title showing up what I want to do is insert a image that we want to associate with it so the image is going to trump the title which uh, you see is still a custom identifier and uh, gives us the ability to add custom elements so if you guys want to design your own images to put on your bar button items whether they're I don't know custom logo options or custom navigational looks all that stuff 
just to make it so it's very customized towards your app. Anyways, to move on, besides that, you can see the final element that you can do is tint the bar button items. And what we're going to do is make that a black just so it stands out. So that is the basics between adding the toolbar and then adding the bar button items on top of that to gain that, I, I don't know what you call it, it's kind of like the Steve Jobs mentality of making your apps different from other people's apps. Definitely a successful method in the marketplace today. So what we're going to do is after you've got some of your basic elements on screen, what I'm going to do in the next part of this tutorial series, and excuse the fan in the background, I apologize for that, is we're going to hook up one of those elements. Not all of them because after you learn how to hook up one, I think you should be good to hook up the rest into your application. So that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial series. Don't leave me here. Subscribe to this channel. I'll be back in like 10 hours. I, I promise you that. And uh, maybe I'll introduce my girlfriend to you someday. Alright, we'll, we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.